So this reading is for Jim. His birthday is December, uh, December 4. He's right in the middle of Sagittarius. So he's definite Sagittarius. And of course, Sagittarius is a fire sign. And uh, Sag is ruled by Jupiter. So if you know astrology a little bit, basics, the Jupiter is the largest planet of the zodiac. So uh, Jupiter has everything to do with growth, promotion, expansion, uh, you know, getting to a better place, uh, winning the lottery. If you your uh, progress chart trines with the sun, uh, your uh, Jupiter, and also the uh, Uranus. So all of these signs, trines on your chart, you have a good chance of winning the big lottery. So, uh, you know, I mean, this is, this ruler is a, real easy kind of a going type of ruler. So, you know, that makes them, again, if we go to talk about strength, see, generous. That really, the first thing about uh, the, the Sag is generous. And uh, they are very idealistic and they have a great sense of humor, you know. And their weakness is like, uh, uh, they promise things more than they can deliver. And also they are very impatient. They just don't know how to wait. Uh, they will say things, anything, no matter how undiplomatic. So Sag is very different from Libra. You know, Libra is like they will sacrifice everything to keep the peace. But Li uh, Sag... No, they will say things how it is and be done with it. So I don't care whether you feel upset or not. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that they don't care. It's just that that's just their nature. They cannot help themselves. If they do, you just have to understand where they're coming from, you know. And they love to travel and they love the freedom. And they, are very, uh, they love philosophy. And again, they love outdoors too. So, uh, and then, you know what they don't like? They hate clingy people. They just, if you want to date Sag, you don't want to cling on to them. Just give them space. You leave them alone and uh, give them a little bit of space and distance and give them the sense of freedom because they, they just feel, they get suffocated. Once they get feel, they, uh, they feel suffocated and they might hold grudges against you. So you don't want that. And, and see, again, trait, another trait, they hate being constrained. And I don't think they really like off-the-wall theories, you know? They like facts and truths, and they just don't like all this stuff that is like, what? What's, what, what do you mean, you know? And they hate details oh my gosh i understand why and you know sag is very curious and energetic they are the biggest travelers i mean of all 12 zodiac signs sag loves the travel the most and their open mind and philosophical view motivates them to wander around the world and try different things, uh, try to learn different things. They take on different hobbies, one after another. I mean, this is really typical for Sag. They like to uh, venture on, you know, mountain, and next day you see them in the water. I'm like, what? You know, they just never stop on ending venture, you know? They seem to do that. Um... And uh, like other signs, they uh, need to be constantly in touch with the world to experience as much as possible, you know. And uh, they are very enthusiastic too. They have an intense curiosity. See, 
That's why they travel around the world so much. Just amazing. And I got uh, five cards. I pulled five cards already before, and I shuffled and asked about uh, 2020 for Sag. Well, for him, actually, Jin. And I got this Nine of Cups, Judgment, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Empress. Um, you know, so far, all of them that has some sort of a bus business venture coming. So it might be together, you know, as reading goes on and I'm thinking they might be doing something together that they, their wish come true. They are working on something that they will be very successful is what I'm gathering. And um, something for Gene, he's going to be very happy next year. You know, I got this Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords usually means like a fight and uh, a disruptive communication. And someone who talks to you very harsh, you know, or you talk to someone, you have to argue with someone about something that, you know, shakes you to the ground a little bit. But I'm taking, I'm looking at this as a, like a military, military kind of uh, energy. I wonder if he has to deal with something like a military, you know. But, but he's going to come out okay. He's going to be a little bit worried about it. But he's going to be okay. And this life-changing experience, opportunity. Like a, he has to deal with some uh, really... This is a major arcana. He's got two major arcana, impress and judgment. So he's got some big important stuff coming up too. Next year, he's going to have to deal with his father or... Uh, someone around him, kind of he's an older person who, uh, he, who might, you know, have something to do with this. Um, someone's going to offer him that changes, you know, on a big scale. Talk was there before. But it's surfacing again. So something that he has to do. And uh, impress is again. Someone around him is pregnant. Or someone might be offering a, some kind of romance. He might be in love. I don't see so much love. But this is more like uh, uh, energy of something new so uh, he might start doing something little different on his own on the side again because of their uh, seven members are uh, like inseparable you know so I, and i'm sure they do something else on an individual level is what i'm gathering you know so he might end up doing something on his own. He might be uh, uh, starting a new business himself. But he's thinking about it more than anything. Or, like I said, there might be someone around him, relative or sister, or I don't know if he has a sister. Someone might be pregnant as well. So this was about Jin. Thank you for listening.